I am not having this because I like to have coffee, I like to cook, I like to eat, and I like to stay warm. And warm food when there's no power is really, well, what can I say? It's really attractive. Um, I used to work at a retail cooking store. And oh, did I love that. And I learned all the different ways that people squeeze lemons. That's true. And there are so many different tools, kitchen tools, to squeeze a lemon. And I had a customer say to me one time, well, it's just such a racket of consumerism. Why would you need to have all these different kinds of lemon squeezers? And, and I said, well, you know where we are right now. There are a lot of small houses and small drawers and so maybe you only have room for one thing or maybe you have a lemon tree and you need a plug-in juicer or you know maybe you've got arthritis and you can't you know do this and so oh, why am I telling you this because when your your power is out you can sit there and go hmm, I need to warm some food maybe not maybe not cook it like from raw, but maybe the best I could do is warm it. I began to think about being innovative, creative, adaptable, getting down to basics. My eyes went to the fireplace. I could see if I built a fire. I could make coffee, I could cook some eggs, I could warm some soup, but my damper is broken. I couldn't use my fireplace. So these pictures are from my neighbor who showed me what she was doing and I was like that is exactly what I was thinking I would do. So I have done some experimenting to figure out what I could do and you know it came down to I bet you I could do an awful lot with a fondue pot. So I went looking, I went thrifting on a day when it wasn't raining like the one day. And uh, I found a bunch of things. I mean, it was amazing at the thrift store. I found camping pots and pans, whole set of them, but they were aluminum. I don't know, if that bugs you, that might not be an answer. But you certainly could use them on the fireplace. It is a thrift store find. Then uh, I also found this old fashioned thing called a chafing dish. You know, where they have the, they use them on buffets. They have a little heat sterno thing and then it, it's got sometimes a bowl of water and it steams things and keeps things warm. It's got a lid. Found how many? Three, four chafing dishes, two fondue pots, uh, and there was something else. A really good knife but that doesn't count I had a really good experience in the end I ended up buying a pan on Amazon uh, it's called a shabu shabu a hot pot that I thought well that basically is what I'm gonna need is just something to warm my food after I ordered my shabu shabu hot pot my neighbor came by and said here let me loan you this fondue pot I never used it I got it at a thrift store. Funny how things work out. So this is all about being innovative, creative, adaptable, getting down to basics. And remember, when life gives you lemons, consider what kind of squeezer you need. And then go to the thrift store. I'll be back.